Hey, it's Alan. Welcome back. All right, we're going to need a database now since Dapper is an ORM for databases. Um, I'm going to use SQL Server, like I said. So I'm going to open up SQL Server Management Studio, which you can pick up online anywhere if you don't already have it. It's free. It should be free. Um, and I'm going to connect to my local SQL Server instance, which I think this is the one that actually comes with Visual Studio, but I don't know, I've got a bunch of them on there. But you probably have some version of a, it doesn't matter what you connect to, just some SQL Server database is fine. The local one is easy because it's just on your computer, kind of a sandbox to work in. All righty. And so we're going to have to go in there and create a new database. So I will, you can see these are some I used for practice and learning. But anyway, um, we'll create a new one for this project. So right click databases, new database, and I'm going to call it um, Blazor Dapper Crud because that's really what this course is about, doing a Crud stuff with Blazor and Dapper. And I stuck DB on the end of that too. Okay, so Blazor Dapper Crud DB is the name of the database. Um, now we're going to need some tables, so uh, let's refresh that and uh, expand it. Click Tables, right click Tables and choose New Table. And we're going to, it doesn't matter what you put in this thing, you know. Uh, we'll, we'll put in some text, so we'll, we need a primary key. I'll call it Video ID Integer. Make sure you click Set Primary Key. And down here, you want to make sure it, you know, each one has unique values. So double click that and it'll number them automatically one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so forth up to a billion, whatever you end up with. All right, and then we need a title for each video. And we'll just make that a VAR car, I don't know, 128 characters or VAR char. You may hear it pronounced, it's a variable length character. Date published, we'll just make a date field so we get a date in there. And just for good measure, we'll have an is active, which is a bit field. So we have a little variety in our uh, data types. We'll let that default to a one, which is true in SQL Server. Uh, even that doesn't matter too, too much what you do. So this will be our database design, or our table, I should say. I'll save that, and we'll call it uh, video okay because each each record and this is about a you know a library of videos now some people might say name it tbl video especially if you work in a corporation where they have naming conventions like that but people in the c-sharp world kind of frown on that sort of thing so i'm just going to call it video for this example all right so now if i refresh what's going on in my database i have a table named video and this is going to be our sample working table for uh, our Dapper and Blazor code. Four fields of different data types, just so we have some variety in there. Well, of course, this will work with any table. And so that's it for the database. We can uh, close out a SQL Server Management Studio now. Then we'll pick it back up in the next video.